everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds among heavyweights between these two great warriors. Remember my instructions in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. All right? Touch him up and come out. Opening fight. round here, scheduled for 12. Shetty, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Able to cover up that gut. That was a miss by Cooper. Oh! Smith's in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Good job on the two-punch combo by Cooper. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. And a sharp counterpunch by Smith. What a smart combination by Smith. Well-targeted counterpunch by Cooper. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Cooper. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by Cooper. What do you think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that, hey, they're more sure of themselves. That these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves, about confidence. And really, it's the opposite. In some ways, these big giants, they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage. They're also worried about damage being done to them. Cooper's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. A nice, holy cow! He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Punch it out, guys! Good way to protect the midsection. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Now he's just walking him back a bit there, up against the ropes. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. And they come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with your ringside, and boy, oh boy, are they putting on a show tonight here. Well, kind of what you expected. These styles kind of told you that this is what you were going to get. There it is! Superb right hand lands home by Smith. Blocks the headshot. the headshot. Very clean 
offense from defense by Cooper. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. That's a tried and true method. Oh, Cooper's been stunned. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Cooper. What a good counter punch by Cooper. Oh! That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Well, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Smith's a pro, but he's not a well-rounded pro because a better level of fighter would be committing to the body more here, wouldn't he, Teddy? Yeah, well, first of all, he would recognize that that's where he's supposed to be going now that his opponent, you know, is taking off a little bit with those fast shoes. No better way to take those shoes off his feet than to go down fast. What a chin. And can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. I set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Ten seconds to go in this round. And this round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas ringside. I'm just looking up at the corner here at this guy that just got tagged, Teddy, this fighter who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff, and he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you got to do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give him a rope. Give him advice to get down. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. That's a good block by bad intentions. And a smart counterpunch by Cooper. <laughs> and a sharp counterpunch by Cooper. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Cooper. Well-targeted counterpunch by Cooper. Solid counterpunch by Smith. Teddy, is it possible that he didn't respect this fighter coming into the fight? Now, I know a lot of people would say, yeah, he's ahead on the scorecards. But you can just see the style of fight that this is, that he's being tested. Yeah, I think it's a combination of two things. This guy being better than his record would indicate, and what you touched on, that he's a human being like anybody else. We look at the guy's record, we think of what kind of fight it's going to be. He looked at it, he thought it was going to be a little easier than it's turning out. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Smith's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Good job landing three punches by Smith. Good block there by bad intentions. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Nice! 
strike after catching one by Smith. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Well-targeted counterpunch by Cooper. Offense from defense by Smith. Wow! Flush to the midsection with a counter shot. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Cooper. Good defense just covering up down low. Now that's some fine work right there by Cooper. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Blocked there by Bone Crusher. <laughs> nice job to land that counter punch. He's getting away from one of his own by Cooper. Good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Cooper. Good work. Two clean shots get in by Smith. Smith's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A+. Plus. Last 10 seconds. Defense, more defense. Keep moving, keep moving. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a non-stop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy is throwing hard back at him. How about a return to sender with the left hand? <laughs> fighting real smart here on the outside. Teddy, I think the fans sometimes don't appreciate it, but what he's doing right now on the outside is very smart. Well, this is a sweet science, Joe, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's understanding where he needs to be, and he's controlling that dimension. The counter punch by Cooper. Get close to him. Get close to him. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Smith's making for a trainer's dream right now. 
picking his shots, Teddy, selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharpshooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. Nothing there on the punch by Smith. You gotta protect yourself. Inside, inside. Teddy, you know what I'm so impressed by? Obviously, the pace of this fight is just ridiculous. But how hungry these guys are. How badly each guy wants it. Joe, this is the kind of fight that it has nothing to do about money. It has everything to do about legacy. How they're going to be remembered. Now, that's some fine work right there by Cooper. Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. Now, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Good scoring counterpunch by Cooper. Well, we told you it could be this kind of fight, and as advertised thus far... Cooper showing that he doesn't have any head movement defensively whatsoever. What else is there, Teddy? Well, there's legs. Start using your legs a little bit. Get out of range. One way or the other, get out of the other man's talking place. the halfway point of round number six. Smith's doing really well on the outside utilizing his jab. Smith's making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much. He's really utilizing that ring and showing that he's got the better footwork. Yeah, he's doing what the old times would say, Joe. He's giving angles, keeping his opponent off balance. His opponent is strong but he needs to be set to punch. He's making sure he doesn't allow him to get set. Doesn't give him that kind of landscape. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh boy, what a round. Good defensive skill. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Smith's well-conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. 
Yeah. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see a proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. Chalkboard. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. Uppercuts, great exchange. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Nice combo by Smith. Oh, and there you go. Smith's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Cooper's mounting a comeback here, Teddy. Things were going against him. Now the tide is turned. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered. Good things are happening. land an uppercut they trade shots he comes back with a right hand Smith's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And, Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear-cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Good block by bad intentions. Nice block by Cooper. Clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Cooper. Not precise at all by Cooper. Teddy, this is not working out on the inside for him. No, you know, maybe he made a mistake this morning. He shouldn't have put the odor in on. Because maybe if he was a little smelly, you know, his opponent wouldn't be so quick to go in there. true method that works out very well the counter punch landing by Cooper on the mark the counter punch by Cooper Cooper's really in a groove right now landing that straight punch well what he's doing is he's staying outside at the right distance he's getting his opponent you know sort of lean in a little bit and then bang that straight shot is right there <laughs> 
A minute to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. Able to cover up that gut. He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no idea that he was still in range. He thought he was at a safe distance. Now he knows he wasn't. And now they're trading blows. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Locks that belt line well. Smith's making me real curious here, Teddy. I wonder, should he be sticking with this style after being rocked in this fight? It's still early enough. I would say yes. You know, you don't want to panic. You don't want to just throw everything overboard. You want to stay with what brought you here. Hey. He's been taught this not for hours, not for days, not for weeks. You know, months and years he's been taught this. You don't throw it out. You stay with it. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. fight what a great great non-stop action fight this has been 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war oh what a great round away from those headshots with his defense up top. <laughs> Blocks that punch. <laughs> Not able to land the headshot. around here as we're ringside at our fight night venue of course we're on the road with you every step of the way with a fine crew we got to give credit to the crew there robbie and rick back in the production truck doing a nice job all cramped up in a tractor trailer yeah they do a great job they allow us to go on the air and uh, allow us to do the fun part while they're doing the grunt work they're doing all the typical things back there of course mike ryan all those guys we appreciate you very much and um we're not taking you out to dinner tonight. See, he's got to start up really well that time, and it protects his head. Not precise at all by Smith. Nice block by bad intentions. 
see it. He's down on the scorecards, has to have the knockout to win it. Yeah, and he has to understand that. You know, the main thing is he hasn't given in. You know, he's still there trying, but he's in a desperate place. So what he has to do now is look for one spot. He remembers maybe something he saw early in the night where the guy pulls out his hand down a little bit and maybe he can time him stepping out. Come on, guys, punch it out. Punch it out, no holding. All right, come on now, come on, work it out, work it out. See some punches here. Wow! Cooper's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. after catching one by Smith. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Smith. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Cooper. nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot wow just sit back and enjoy this one you can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight so it's like the first time you heard ray charles sing god bless america you knew it was special you knew you hadn't heard it before i haven't seen anything like this before Gotta conserve his energy a bit here. He just does not look like a fresh fighter right now. Yeah, you're starting to wonder right now what kind of conditioning program he had. And right now his opponent is saying, hey, I'm gonna jump on him. I'm gonna find out right now whether or not he did all the road work he needed to. On the mark, the counter punch by Cooper. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. He is hurt and damaged, but he's doing a real nice job of just staying away from the danger. And now he's got to find a little bit of a way to create offense without getting into that danger zone again. 
Good defensive skill with the block by bad intentions. Oh! Cooper's in a bad place. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. End of that round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most... Oh, and there you go. Cooper's stunned, and he is hurt. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. The fight is over. Bone Crusher's going to have his hand raised by way of KO. The 10 count reached, his opponent out, he's the victor. Smith, your winner by impressive knockout victory. And he did it just the way he had to, stayed on the outside and used those quick hands all night. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad.